and welcome back. In this session we're going to look at variables and operators. Um, uh, again, let's look at our learning outcomes uh, here. Uh, our learning outcomes, um, what we should be uh, understanding at the end of this is the use of arithmetic operators. Now, just before we're going on, uh, C-sharp uh, actually has a very large set of operators, okay, and, and what these are are symbols which specify, uh, you know, what or which operation will be performed on any particular expression. Okay, now uh, C-sharp actually uh, predefines the, uh, uh, the usual arithmetic and logical operators, uh, you know, and it does a whole lot of other ones as well. Uh, you know, in addition to this, uh, a lot of these operators can be what's called overloaded, okay, and we'll come to, you know, that what overloading will do will just change their meaning, and again, we'll come to that later on in the course. In this uh, session, we're going to concentrate on the first one there, you can see addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. Okay, so the best, uh, again, I'm sure, you know, from your basic maths, you, you understand what all of these are. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll pop over to the code now, and we can see how we can apply these to various variables that we may have in uh, our program. Okay, guys, so here we are uh, back at the code. Uh, as you can see, um, I've opened up a new project. Um, I've called it var2ex, as you can see here. Uh, and I've also uh, uh, put in a console read line again, as you saw in the last um, uh, in the last video there. The console read line will actually hold the program open for us. So I'm going to start off by declaring a couple of variables. Um, I'm going to just uh, I'll, I'll use int at the moment. So int, okay, and I'll call this num one, and I'm going to assign it the value of six. Okay the integer 6. Um, now int uh, num2 uh, and I'm going to assign the value of 8. Oh, uh, uh, one here. Int uh, ans. Uh, ans. Okay, and notice here in this one I'm not initializing it. Um, again, ans is going to be the answer, so when I uh, do an operation Okay, on uh, num1 or num2, again, I'm going to hold the value uh, in an answer, and I'll hold that as the variable else. Okay, so let's uh, do something now. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is initialize else. So I'm going to say else. Uh, now notice uh, the way I don't, uh, sorry, NS, uh, I don't have to... Um, I don't have to put int ants already because I've already declared int ants here and now I'm initializing it to a value. Okay, and what I'm going to say is uh, num1, okay, uh, num1, okay, and add that to num2. And notice here in my IntelliText I can see num1 two objects have been created, uh, like so, and all I have to do now is write that out to the console. So I'll do my console right line, dot right line, okay, and, okay, so in this case, uh, what do I want to write out? I want to write out the answer, which is ans, so I'll just put ans in here, okay, and you can see ans is now, uh, now you can see at this point, uh, again, uh, like that, all the green squiggly underlines are, are gone, again, that was just to say I've declared a variable, I haven't used it. I've now used all the variables, and what I should see is here is the value now of 6 and 8, which is uh, 14. So let's just run this code. Okay, and uh, uh, you can see there are no build errors, and you can see there the answer is, or 14 is here uh, on, on my console output. Again, the cursor flashing underneath, it's at the console read line, so I can carry on from here. Okay, let's uh, just change that. 
so I have uh, 6 and 8, and if I take out the operator here of the plus and put in a minus, okay, so num1 minus num2, again, should give me the answer 2, so let's do that. And you can see there, let's run that again, oh, sorry, my mistake, my minus 2, um, <coughs> or um, taking 8, okay, um, we're taking, we have no more and we're taking away 8 actually gives us the int minus 2 ok again let's just try another operator here um, uh, which is uh, the multiplication ok and uh, run that and again uh, uh, 6 eighths or 48 you can see the output there in the console is 48 Okay, now this is uh, going to be interesting as well. Let's look at this. Uh, what's going to be interesting here is when I divide one number uh, by the other. Okay, and I'll show you what's going to happen here. Okay, uh, you can see here, uh, if I divide one by the other, okay, I'm getting an answer of zero. Okay, so what's actually happened? Uh, and I'm going to cover this now in the next video. It's called data types. Okay, and we'll, we'll look at this in casting as well. Uh, where an int, okay, will only be a whole number. And if I wanted to see the value or uh, a whole number, uh, I, I have no decimal points. So I, have, uh, I can't get 2.5 or 0.5 or 0.8 or whatever. Uh, it would just round down to a whole number. And if I want to see it, I have to declare the, if I want to actually get the operation, I have to declare uh, the int answer as something else. Okay, and what that something else is, it's called a double. So let me do that. I'll close this. And I'm just so I've got to change each one of these to a double. Uh, a double. Double int num1. I'd say double num1. Uh, double uh, num2. And double ans. Let's look at the division first. Um, so I have uh, num1 divided by num2. And now look what happens when these are doubles. Uh, so if I run that bit of code, uh, let it build there for a second. Uh, there's the, you can see there 0.75. So num1 divided by 8 is 0 0.75. Okay, let's look at the modulus. What is modulus? Again, modulus is uh, 1 divided by the other. Okay, and what's the remainder? Okay, or what's the remainder after uh, um, that there? Again, uh, so again, uh, you know, the, if we look at 8 and 6, uh, the wrong numbers here, let's let's take uh, a simple one like um, uh, 2, uh, sorry, 5 modulus 2. So, uh, 5 modulus 2. Okay, and run that code. Okay, and sorry, my mistake. Um, let's reserve that. Okay, so uh, we can see here, sorry, I had a six in there. Uh, so five, um, uh, again, divided by two, uh, it goes twice and one remainder. So there's our, you can see there, it says, it's quite happily there, uh, one remainder. Um, okay. Uh, again, let's look at when you have two, um, two, and five. Again, uh, uh, dividing five into two, and um, what's the remainder? Again, it will not run, or will not, uh, uh, it will not go in. So it goes in zero times, but the remainder is two. Okay, because the re the five. Okay, it will not go into 2, so therefore uh, the remainder after 0 is 2. Okay, and that's uh, the modulus operator. Okay, uh, that's, uh, sorry, uh, addition, uh, subtraction, uh, multiplication, um, and modulus. In our next video, we'll look at data types. Okay, we just had a brief introduction here. We looked at int and double. Uh, but let's look at a few more in the uh, next video. Thank you for your attention.